Hey everyone, Gaming Explosion here. I'm here to show you how to use the Minecraft Magic Launcher. So you have, if you haven't seen any of my videos, I've installed a couple mods from my other videos. I do have, um, I have some mods with me. I have too many items, um, <coughs> single player commands, mod loader, and um, just a couple, couple mods that I've already had installed. So if you watch those video videos, if you want some of those mods, go ahead and watch them. Otherwise, keep watching. So what you're going to want to do in your dot .minecraft, <coughs> once you get here, sorry I kind of sped through that a little bit, first of all you're going to want to go to your bottom left corner, click on your start menu. Then you're going to type in percent app data percent. So since you already have the Minecraft Magic Launcher, you're going to make a double of your dot .minecraft so you can have one clean one and one minecraft magic launcher one that's what I have here I have two I have one clean and I spelled destroyed wrong it's supposed to be destroyed minecraft which is just full of mods which is the one that I'm using now <clears throat> so once you have a double you're going to want to you're going to want to go ahead into your dot .minecraft and you're going to want to have a folder called MC Mods. You can name it anything you want. I prefer MC Mods because it's easy to find. You can just right click and just say new <coughs> and make a new folder. Just keep. And so once you do that you have MC Mods. You're going to want to take all the mods you've had downloaded if you can find them wherever they are and put them all in here. <coughs> so once you have all your mods inside your M MC Mods or whatever folder you have you can just go ahead and X out of this. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find your Minecraft Magic Launcher which I have in my games folder. But you're just going to double click it and it'll come right up. So for Magic Launcher you have default. You can just use your default configuration. You can just log in and play normal. Or you can go to setup. <clears throat> now here's where the people, where here's the place where people get most confused is trying to get the mods to all work. So the hardest part is when you go to add, I already have it here in MC Mods, but normally it'll open up to your uh, .minecraft folder like this. And you're going to look for your MC Mods. So when you click on that, or whatever folder you've named it, so when you click on that, you'll see all your mods here that you put in. So now if I try to put in Optifine, it'll say OK. Great. So now if I want to remove it, I just go like that, I click on it, and I press remove. And I can also add single player commands. Great. Added single player commands. Done. Now I can just remove it. And you can just, you can add any mods you want. So like, let's say you put in mod loader. And if you have mods that require mod loader, all you just do is you go to add. And you just click on the mods that require mod loader in here. And when you click on it, like, let's say single player commands requires mod loader which um, world edit does inside of it so you're going to want to go ahead and click on it and so you have mod loader and single player commands and they're okay sometimes it'll say errors and you won't really know what those are so you might be missing like an API client or something for specific mods which are really hard to f aren't hard to find but they're a little bit difficult to download with, but it's easier with this because you can just put it in here and it'll be all ready to go for you. So you can just go ahead and add any mods you want. Which I'm gonna add all the mods that I have in here. What you can do is if you don't know, you don't want it to be default actually, is you can just change it. I made one called modular. And so <clears throat> what you can do here is you can just press test and see if it works. So when you press test to see if it works, you can just wait for it to load up and check it out and see if it works. And if it works, since every, since the status says OK, it all works. Didn't black screen on me, it's all OK. So you can press OK and save it. I already have one up. And you can just go to login. And every time you log in, when your Minecraft pops up, you can just go to single player. And then do whatever world you, kind of, you want. And so when you go in, all the mods will work. Too many items, single player commands. 
and last but not least Optifine. So all these mods are really easy to use in Minecraft Magic Launcher. Just people get confused on how to use it. So thanks for watching and uh, comment, rate, subscribe and um, hang up with more videos. Thanks for watching.